In this one, let's take a look at finding the equation of a tangent line to a curve. So I'm going to begin with this right here. Take a look. I'm going to write here 1 over x, f of x equals 1 over x, that is, I'm beginning with that. And the first stage would be to, for example, decide the point where you want to find the tangent line. So in my case here, I'm just going to go with, say, x equals 1. So let's evaluate the function at that number there, x equals 1. I'm going to do here f of 1, in other words, will be equal to, I meant to put 1 straight, 1 over 1, which is just 1. Now remember when you see this portion what this means. So this is telling us the value of x right here, and the output is the value of y. So you group this together into a point, so x equals 1 and y equals 1. That's our point. That's the first thing. The next stage in the process usually is to find the derivative. So let's find the derivative. To do that, I'm going to rewrite my function here so it says like this x to the negative first. I'm writing it this way because then it's easier to see how to use a power rule, for example. So here, let's find a derivative. I'm going to say f prime of x equals, and by the power rule, here you have x to the negative first. So you bring the negative 1 down, you put times x, and then in the top you subtract, so it becomes negative 1 minus 1. Then you finish that up. So this becomes negative 1 times x to the negative second, and then commonly this is written as negative 1 over x squared positive, just like that. Once you have that portion, then you evaluate the derivative. So in our case, again, remember that the value of x we're using is x equals 1 over here, and we need to find the value of the derivative. So I'm going to put here 1. Evaluate the derivative. It's going to give me negative 1 over 1 squared, which is just negative 1. So in this context, remember, this value here is your x from the point, and that value is now basically the slope. Right, that's what the, the derivative represents at a particular value of x, the slope. So with that in place, the next stage is to actually use this equation. Take a look. That looks like this. Going back to more basic math, you're going to do y minus y1 equals the slope over here times x minus x1. So in our case, y stays. The y1, that's just this point right here, y equals 1, okay? So I'm going to put here minus 1 equals, for the slope you stick in the value of the derivative, so that's negative 1. Then you put x minus, and x1 is just the x-coordinate from this point right here, so x equals 1. So I put that over here. Then I work this out, so it gives y minus 1 equals negative x. I distribute over here just like this. So negative x and then plus 1. And then you add 1 to both sides in this equation, so y will be equal to negative x plus 2, just like that. And this is then the equation of the tangent line. Now sometimes it's helpful, sometimes people might ask you to sketch a picture. So in this case, to sketch a picture, you mark 1 over x. You're graphing this quantity, 1 over x right here, okay? So this is your y-axis, this is the x-axis. It looks like this, and I know that because I've sketched it a lot of times. And then the point of interest is this point right here with these coordinates, 1, 1. This point is coming from here, x equals 1, y equals 1, okay? That's where it's coming from. And then you kind of sketch the equation of the tangent line as touching that curve, just like that, at that one point, right here. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. I'll check you out in another video.